to be here and feel really good about our club. I think we've got a good chance to be very good this year and, and look forward to seeing it all play out here in spring training. Mr. DeWitt, what's your message to the team if you gave a message today? Did you give a message? Uh, yeah, I always have a, have a message. Uh, and, and the message was that uh, our goal every year is, is to be competitive and have a chance, have a team good enough to get to the postseason. And uh, if we do get to the postseason, good enough to go deep in the postseason. And I, I believe this group has that capability. And, you know, I talked a little bit about uh, the Cardinals history. This is our 125th anniversary, 1892 for those historians here was our uh, first official year. and. We've had a lot of success over the years, 19 pennants, 11 world championships, and uh, you know we're, we're trying to build on that every single year. We, you know, that's the goal of the organization to improve on and, and enhance the record uh, that's been built up so many great players and organizations over the years. Bill, when you're talking with the team, do you bring up the, the name Cubs at all? No, no. <laughs> I don't bring up any other team's names. And how do you feel about for the I did bring up the Dodgers name though because I complimented our fans. Uh, we have last year we were the I, I told them, you know, last and they know it, but some of the younger guys may not. Uh, we were second baseball in attendance to the Dodgers and the Dodgers had have of course a bigger seating capacity. Uh, virtually 40,000 every single game. We might have slipped under that once or twice at the end, but you know you can count on big crowds. Our advanced sale is very comparable to last year, and our fans are believers. They're supporters, and I always say how important a part of our franchise that they are because without them, uh, you know, we can't do the things that we do. And how do you feel about a, a spring where normally the Cardinals have been the favorite, but now the Cubs are the team to beat? It's rare in your ownership reign. It is. Actually, last year we were underdogs too, believe it or not. We had won 100 games and, uh, the year before that. Uh, and, you know, we I pointed out we finished out of the playoffs by a single game, but uh, a number of years before that we were in the playoffs. And with an improved club, uh, being a game out and you know that this this team has a lot of talent, and I think Mo has done a great job in and shoring up some of the weaknesses and, and the players he's brought in. Uh, the character of this team uh, looks very good. I think it's a very solid club that is very competitive. A lot of the players have been here for a while, but for the new ones, how do they react when you tell them about the history, the rich history of the Cardinals, and is there a responsibility when you wear that jersey? Uh, I don't really get into the responsibility. I, I, you know, I always talk about the, you know, the Cardinal logo, which is impressive. We do have a, uh, I don't take credit for it because it's a, an historic logo, um, but it's, you know, it gets a lot of credit uh, for, you know, the uniqueness of it. But what it really represents is the success that the franchise has had over the years and the great players who have come before. And you know, I think that's a that's always a good message to young players to understand that that uh, you know they're part of an organization that's had that kind of success. Bill, do you at all sense a different tone around the team, either with Mike or with Mo, because of like what Frank's talking about? I mean, for a pretty good decade plus, you guys have either been the defending champ or the favorite, either one, and not either this year? Well, the only tone, and they can speak for themselves, is we're certainly not backing off and uh, acknowledging that we don't have every chance to uh, go deep and have a team that can go deep uh, because we, we, we believe we do. And uh, there's a lot of talent in that clubhouse and I look forward to the season. You, you mentioned the word character when talking about the team. How important do you think Dexter is going to be kind of not only to the clubhouse mix, but to your organization, and the community, etc. Cetera, et cetera. He's see, he, he was just such a perfect signing for us. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I really believe. Not only did he fit the the need we had on the field, but 
he's such an enthusiastic, uh, admired, popular, uh, personable, however you want to, all those adjectives. I, it's hard to remember someone who's come from another team that just instantaneously, you know, has buy-in from everybody. Did you look into that quite a bit at personality-wise? You know, it's obviously a big investment. Well, we all, yeah, well, I mean, whenever we, obviously the players that grow up with us, we know yeah. what they're all about. And when you sign a free agent, uh, you know, reputation and so forth. Uh, but, you know, until you really have them, you don't, yeah. you don't know them uh, as well. But he certainly comes highly praised and, and uh, certainly deservedly so. Bill, today is the uh, 30th anniversary of Brian Bartell's first day with the Cardinals. He, he's done a lot to your organization, hasn't he? He has, yeah. That's uh, uh, he talked about his first day. I think he ran out the door or something and slipped and dropped his briefcase. Uh, but he's done a terrific job as our uh, head of PR for all those years, and uh, you know it was nice to to uh, congratulate him on that and acknowledge him.